I'm an intern at the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Resource Center. My name is Jerome. I'm going to be a community intern this year at LGBTRC. My name is Sherry Atkinson. I'm the director of the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Resource Center. Hi, I'm Chelsea DeLeon. I'm a community intern at the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Resource Center. The center provides a safe space for people to come hang out, get resources, uh, get connected with other people. I think my favorite part of the center is just um, like meeting and greeting people, who are new to the university or new to the center. Well, I think number one is always you get to meet new people yeah. like you. Um, <clears throat> and secondly, you get to be involved with stuff that you're really passionate about, like social activism <laughs> and um, liberation for all people, regardless of their class, gender, or sexuality. Um, as an intern, I help plan a lot of programs that we have throughout the year, like Pride Week and Transaction Week and Beyond the Binary and Intersex Awareness Week. Um, definitely Davis's Burning is a really big event that I'm excited to attend and perform at, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, everyone's welcome to come and hang out. People are always there just socializing, eating lunch, um, playing video games. There's a lot of movies and books that people can rent out. So. And there's free wireless and computers that people can use. So it's just a really fun space where people can come and feel safe and meet new people. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Nancy Perez, and I'm the transfer student coordinator at the Student Recruitment and Retention Center. Hello, my name is Marisol, and I'm the student director for ECAPIO. Hello, my name is Reynaldo Rodriguez. I am the Retention Coordinator for Natives and Power Through Unity in Education, housed under the Student Recruitment and Retention Center. My name is Paul Haykin Paul. I work for Southeast Asian Funding Education under the Student Recruitment and Retention Center, and I'm the student director this year. Uh, my name is Stephen Damal. I am the student director for Bridge, the Filipino Outreach and Retention Program under the SRC. Hi, I am Kimberly Roden. I am the student director for ACE African Diaspora Cultivating Education. I also work for the Student Recruitment and Retention Center. The the purpose of the Student Recruitment and Retention Center is to serve historically underrepresented communities through recruitment and retention. We're a student-run, student-initiated center, so as a student you have the power to come in, tell us what programs you want to have put on, or put on a program for yourself, and the way you can do that is through our volunteer intern program. Through recruitment we offer different programs throughout the year, um, such as Apply Yourself at high schools and community colleges. We do youth leadership conferences, tutoring programs, and also mentorship opportunities for students um, from underrepresented communities in our local community colleges, high schools, and middle schools. For retention efforts, we have various leadership retreats. Um, we also have peer mentorship programs. And throughout the year, we have social, cultural, and political workshops. Come down and talk to us. There will be somebody from each of our programs there. And we usually have flyers out, be a part of our listserv, come out to our events, most importantly, and come and support us. You can join any of our components. Um, they cater to specific communities, but you don't have to fall under any of those communities. And you can volunteer, help us with our work in our fight for educational equity. And just come and be a part. We're like family. Yes, we are. Um, I think the most rewarding part for me is seeing students that look like me um, get the same opportunities that I did. So in high school, um, the SRC put on a high school retreat that I went to and it got me to go to UC Davis. So it's really important for me to see um, students get the same experience that I got and to have the motivation to come to this university. That will spread and it grows and it grows. And we know that the SRC has touched so many people. My name is Deanna Anderson and I am the African Diaspora Intern at the CCC as well as a Peace Trainer. My name is Nicole Starro, I'm the Campus Climate One Intern at the Cross Cultural Center. I plan programs around uh, hot and controversial issues on campus that involve intersections of identity. I put on events like mostly for the African Diaspora community based on ability, age, race, gender, sexual orientation, ability, and class. Uh, the purpose of the CCC is to provide a safe space for people um, coming from various backgrounds and uh, marginalized groups. So whether that involves age, class, race, sexual orientation, ability, uh, religion, gender. 
The best part about being involved in the CCC is getting to learn from people, meeting new people, and also educating my peers. We have really friendly staff. You can just come in, we'll give you a tour, show you around. You can just come hang out, do homework over there. I'm looking forward to getting to meet a lot of new people, uh, planning programs around different issues on campus, and just staying informed. Come to the Cross Cultural Center, which is located right across from Olsen Hall. Come and volunteer. We have a lounge, a computer lab, and a conference room that you can all use. We also have a library where you can check out books. Hi, my name is Annie Chen, and I'm the Community Connections and Resource Intern. Hi, my name is Singh, and I am the Programs and Student Outreach Intern at the Women's Resources and Research Center. My name is Maria Lee. I'm the WISE Women in Sciences and Engineering uh, Intern here at the Women's Center. When students can actually come into the Women's Center, we're basically a safe space for women and for all genders alike. So we offer educational leadership programs, so we do um, guest speakers come to campus. One of the great things about the Women's Center is that we also offer scholarships. We offer around three or four a year, and one of the biggest one is the Ellen Hansen Memorial Prize. One of our things we do is every week from 5 to 7 on Tuesdays here at the Women's Center, um, we have a math cafe. Grad students from math come in and help the students with math classes. So if they have homework, they can come in, um, get help with that. Maybe there's something from lecture they weren't really clear about. Um, they could also get help with that. Uh, right now, I'm in the library, and as you can see, we have over 12,000 books, and that includes fiction and nonfiction, and it covers a variety of topics, most of which include, in some way, gender or is related to sexuality. I definitely recommend everyone to just check um, our library, come in and study. We have chairs, we have internet, we have a couple computers that you are free to use and print on for a small fee. Um, a lot of people just hang out here, if you're interested in getting involved with the Women's Center, we have a wonderful volunteer program, and it's based on your hours. There's no set amount of time that you have to commit. Um, we also have a peer education program that Singh leads. So if you're interested in educating the community about gender-related issues, you're welcome to apply. Applications come out during winter, so join our Women's Right newsletter that is online, or check our online during winter quarter. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a peer counselor at the house. Hi, my name is Rudy and I'm a peer counselor at the house. Hi, my name is Paige and I'm a peer counselor at the house. At the house we offer confidential peer counseling and you can call in as well. We also have weekly meditation groups. Um, we have a really cool massage chair and we have a sad lamp. We have meditation and yoga classes, all which are free. We are a very supportive group. Um, no matter where you are, time or day, um, no matter if you're in the dorms or in an apartment, you can always call and we'll there. You can just come by and we'll give you a tour. No questions asked. If you just want to look at what's upstairs, the wellness center, or if you actually want to talk, that's fine. <laughs> Somebody's going to answer the door and say, welcome to the house, would you like to talk? The most rewarding part about being part of the house is the fact that you're making a difference to other people. It's really like a family. We're really welcoming and uh, everyone's really relaxed and it really is an, a comfortable environment. You really don't feel judged. I mean that from my heart. Um, it's just a really comfortable place and we really truly want to help people. Come into the SRC. Oh. Come to the city! Come to the city! <laughs> Come to the SRC. Come into the house! Come to the SRC. Come into the center. Come, Come into, into the center. center. Come to the house. Come on into the center. Come to the SRC. Come into the center. Come, Come into the, the center. center.